Okay, so here I want to replace uh, um, this keyboard because some of the keys are not working and to do that uh, you need this kind of X this kind of X uh, screwdriver Okay Let's just turn it off Take off the battery. It's a very simple process. You can remove the back cover just like this. Remove the back cover. Now there are just two screws you need to remove. This is one, and this is the second one. Okay, so after removing those two screws, flip over. Open the lid. Uh, take a take a, uh, a flat screw like this, flat screwdriver, beginning from the edge. Okay. Um, man, I like to remove the two. There are two: um, this top covering and then the main keyboard. So for me, I like going for the two at once. Okay. Okay, gently walk it around the side and you get the tire keyboard out like this. Uh, the next is take it aside, pop up this, and remove. Now this is the keyboard. Okay. So okay, so if you have if your replacement keyboard um does not come with this top cover um, you can gently remove this top covering out of this and put in the new one and uh, install okay so you can just the same we use the same flat screwdriver and gently pry out uh, just like this okay so you can gently uh, remove this top covering and then put in a new one before installing okay um, so that's how you do it see so this can come out of the keyboard actually it is very easy to do just remove this top and put in the new one and that's all okay okay so next gently install uh, gently engage the the flexible cable and Then put it back. Okay, just give it a firm touch. You can hear the clicking sound as uh, as you install it back.
okay and then next screw in the two put back the two screws um, that were removed earlier and that's all Okay, then put the pack cover back, install the battery back, and then you can power on and do okay. So that's all.